everyone welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you are new hi hello I hope you'll stick around so subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and give it a thumbs up if you enjoy it don't forget to turn on the bell notification symbol so you get notified every time I upload being a subscriber doesn't always mean you're going to get a notification of a new video so turn on the bell it helps me out and you can check the description box below for important links like where to find me outside of YouTube on social medias Facebook Instagram Twitter I love my social medias and I do all of my vape giveaways over there so any extra stuff that vape companies send me I give away on my Instagram Facebook Twitter or even sometimes my patreon account which will be linked below as well so that is a vape related monthly rewards sent to you by yours truly every single month and I do have a second YouTube channel my life channel that I do non vape related videos so it's my other hobbies like being a mom makeup cooking plants other products that are not vape products things like that if you're interested check it out I do chat with you guys directly on Twitter almost every day and I post to Instagram story all day long so if you want to get a sneak peek into my real life that's where you can go so the description box always has the goodies and a few coupon codes but let's just get right into today's video I have the Valerian 2 kit. OMG. The Valerian was a super big hit when it first came out and now they have the Valerian 2 kit. So it comes like this and there is a warning for nicotine but this doesn't contain nicotine. It's just um, hardware. So let me open it up and show you guys what comes in the kit. Inside that box we have another box for the Valerian 2 mod and the Valerian 2 tank. So I imagine you can get these separately if you want or together as the kit. So it comes in like a plastic box, the tank and the mod, and you open it up the top. We have the user's manual for the tank, a warning card, extra O-rings for the purple, because that's the color that I have, an extra glass piece and a dust cap, and it is a bubble glass. An extra coil, this is the extra 0.14 ohm UN2-2 dual mesh coil. And the tank itself. Behind the tank was a do not eat packet. Here's a close-up of the tank. It is a stainless steel and Pyrex glass construction. It is 29 millimeters in diameter and it has a 510 pin at the bottom. And it is 60.6 millimeters in height. It weighs about 70 grams and it holds six mils of e-liquid in here. It does have airflow slots at the bottom that are on a stopper. To change the coil, you just spin the base off and spin out the coil. This is the 0.32 ohm UN2 single mesh coil. And on both coils, there is a min line, so don't let the e-liquid get lower than that. The drip tip is removable, and there is a flush button actually on this to fill it. You can see on the back, there are these little hinges, so you know directly on the other side is this flush button, and you push it, and the lid pops open like so. And you can fill in those slots. I'm going to go ahead and fill up mine today with Cloud Kiss. This is a strawberry cake batter flavor from yours truly. It's available in 100 ml bottles, 70% vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol blends on usvapeco.com. That's usvapeco.com. And you can use my code TIA20 at checkout for 20% off this flavor or any other flavor on US Vape Co's website. You're welcome. Oh, and it's also available in 0, 3, 6, and 12 milligrams nicotine. All right, got it filled up. I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside and let it wick up and show you guys the mod. So it does come in a similar plastic container like so. Take the top off and right on top you have the user's manual for the Valerian 2 mod, another warning card, a battery safety card, a do not eat packet, a micro USB to USB cable, and the mod. Oh my god, it's one of these styles, that ergonomic grippy style. What? There was a company that did like this kind of shape mods forever. Anyways, at the top is the 510 connection. It is very springy, 510 threaded. You can see there's like this castle design at the top of the mod and it does say you well in there. On the front we have a big fire button and a screen, regulatory buttons, micro USB port. It says Valerian here and then on the side 
We do have some venting holes here, down here. I don't know if you can see them that well on camera, but oh, there they go. The venting holes, and then on the bottom is the battery door, which is a hinge door, so you pull and it hinges up, and then you push it down and push forward to lock it. It does take three 18650 batteries, and you can see down in there and on the lid which direction to put them. I don't think I've used a mod with three batteries in a long time. When you are using a mod with multiple batteries, you wanna make sure that they are matched so they're bought together, used together, and charged together, and if one is damaged, you need to not use them. You need to not use the damaged one. So let me get some batteries in this puppy and we'll see what happens when we turn it on. When I put the batteries in, it did automatically turn on, but I went ahead and turned it back off just because, and it does have this little plastic for the screen. I don't know why I love this. Oh, but I do, shiny. All right, so yeah, let's turn it on. Five clicks. Hello, UL, and it does say goodbye when you turn it off. And here is the screen. Please ignore the flickering. It's because of my camera's frames per second. It does display the output mode and the output level. Right now it's at 80 watts. Under that is the voltage meter, the coil reader, which obviously says 9.99 ohms because there's no tank on top. And it has an inhale counter. So as you inhale, I imagine that increases and then it has the battery life of all three batteries and this guy is made of a zinc alloy pc plus abs and stainless steel it is 74 millimeters tall by 41 millimeters by 49 millimeters it weighs about 148 grams without batteries in it it goes up to 300 watts so from 5 to 300 watts 300 and then back down to five and then 300. Holding the fire button and the minus button at the same time will lock your device. Pressing the minus button and the fire button again unlocks it. That locks the whole device so you cannot fire it or adjust the buttons. If you press the fire button and the plus button at the same time, it will just lock the plus and minus button. So you can still fire it, but you can't adjust. Press and hold the plus and minus again and you unlock it. You switch between wattage, TC, or TCR mode. You press the fire button three times. You can see power is flashing for wattage. Use the up and down arrows to select. There's temp and TCR mode, which is temperature coefficient of resistance. And back to power. But we'll go to temperature mode so you can see that if you want to select temperature, you just press the fire button. And temperature control is good for stainless steel. And you can adjust from 315 degrees Celsius all the way down to 100 degrees Celsius by 5 degree increments. And then it will round robin to Fahrenheit. So it's 600 degrees Fahrenheit to 200 degrees Fahrenheit by 10 degree increments and then at the lowest Fahrenheit it'll go to the highest Celsius. It does have resistance detection so it will set the mod to what it thinks the coil should be vaped at. It does have atomizer short, low battery, and temperature protection as well for this device. It also has reverse battery protection and charging protection and also a factory reset. You just press and hold the plus and minus. All right I'm putting the tank on top. This is a beastly setup. I need more power behind this vape. <coughs> Cloud switch. I am still not fully recovered from my cold that started last weekend. That is a ton of vapor, you guys. Holy cow. I do have an extra blue and I do have an extra red kit that I'll be giving away on my Patreon. It's heavy, it's powerful, it chucks cloud, it gives you good flavor. I turn it off. Why did I try to vape it that way? Holy cow. Yeah, three battery mods, definitely not my style, but like my favorite UL is the Crab 4. It's back there right now. Actually, I have two. I love it. 
That's my favorite UL setup. This one has a lot more battery life, way more power behind it. So check it out if you want to. It does come in a bunch of different colors. The Valerian 2. I'm not sure if this is available yet as of filming this video because this was sent to me directly from UL. But if you know where to get it, comment down below and I will pin your comment. That's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.